Hi Felters, welcome. In this video we're going to look at several different methods to try and get a smooth finish to your needle felting. First off we're going to look at needles, I'm going to try several different types. Then we're going to do rolling between the hands to see if it does actually make any difference. We're also going to look at cling film or plastic wrap it might be called in America. We're also looking at ironing, so I'm going to iron a couple of pieces because people have talked about that. This is a lint remover or a defuzzer as I call it. We're going to try that. We're going to do a PVA water glue mix, see if that makes a difference. And the last one is going to be wet felting, which I'm going to do with that little green ball, which I'm not a wet felter, but we'll give it a go. So first off, I'm trying several different needles. This is my all over favorite 40 gauge triangle needle. And I use this an awful lot. You can see I've started there already. So I'm taking this star and I'm going to do several different points with different needles and this was quite good. The next one was a 42 gauge triangle needle or triangular needle. Um, so a 42 is quite a high number. I do a video on needles if you get confused and it just took a while to get going with that one. I wasn't as impressed. Um, this one, the 40 gauge spiral is fantastic and as soon as I started using it I could feel it felting and actually the description on it when I got it is fast felting and clean finish and it really delivered and I thought it was brilliant so you can see the difference there I've only been doing it for about a minute um, and that star point is really sort of you can see how much more it's been felted so I was really pleased with that one so I carried on going, and we're trying the 38 gauge star. So a star is, it's really tricky to show you the shape of it, but it's literally in the shape of a star or a cross. Um, and I tried this one, it wasn't too bad, but and it did do the job, but it wasn't as good as the spiral. So for all the needles to try and get a smooth, fast finish, definitely the spiral one really, really worked. And that's it, the 40, gauge spiral. So next we're going to go on to rolling between the hands. Now it really helps when I have legs on animals I have to say but would it help with the ball? So we'll have a look a little bit later at the result of that one. This one is cling wrap. I saw a lady do this not with brilliant results. Um, I'm wrapping a red ball even though I unwrap a purple ball because I'd left the purple ball for three days so I just demoing how I did it on a new ball. So I wrapped it once and then folded it round on itself and wrapped it again. I did leave it for three days because I was making another video in between. So unwrap it and I really just think this is based on a little bit of moisture building up over time. And so here we go and I think we have a close look at it and actually it's come out really well. So you can't cling wrap all of your items and it does take a few days, but that's a possible. We'll go through them at the end. The next one's ironing. I'd seen this being done. I wasn't sure, I was a bit nervous. So wool setting on the iron and steam. Um, I'm using flat pieces. Ironing is not gonna work for anything else unless it's gonna be flat. If you were making ornaments or something like that. So this star, I have to say, and the heart, it worked really quite well and I took it back and then I needle felted the edges on one side only and you can see it's a really crisp lovely finish same with the heart I needle felted the heart on one side only very crisp uh, when I started to needle felt the top it didn't work so well it left marks but you can see a big difference between a star I'd done a while ago with the normal felting and then the one with the ironing this is the lint remover. I got this off Amazon. I got this one because it's got two speeds and lots of blades um, and it gathers all the wool so you can make it two different heights as well. So that's really good. It's like $9.99. It wasn't much at all. I'm going to do a link below for this one, but you can choose your own. And it gathers all the wool in that little plastic bit in the front there. And I have to say, this is just good fun. <laughs> it really is. I loved it. Um, so you just get whatever item you've got and you push it really close to it um, and you turn it on. It doesn't come with batteries, so you have to put batteries in. And there is the wool. It's obviously taking a lot of fluff off because it's gathering down the bottom. So I just love this. And I went off around the house and I've de-linted or defuzzed my chairs, jumpers, everything. I just had great fun with it. There's another ball I did. Um, this is wet felting. I'm not a wet felter. 
so I do apologize I think you are supposed to use a bit of soap um, to make it better but I have seen people put their felts in water so I tried that one. Oh, sorry about that little clip that was later on so we got PVA glue and water in this one again it's another one I've heard so this is a little spray nozzle I sprayed it on um, this Red Bull I wrapped I, I put it on a piece of paper it's a bit messy that's the only thing um, and I left it overnight to dry so I put it in that bit of paper wrapped it up and left it so the results rolling in the hands uh, not much difference I have to say it really helps for legs though on sheep I do recommend it still on legs as a quick way to do it wet felting really not much difference and you have to wait for it to dry for a couple of days so I'm not a wet felter PVA glue and water maybe I didn't put enough glue in it but really again not much difference at all cling film and wrap now this is a surprise it worked well I thought I knew what was going to work the best there's one that hasn't been done you can see the difference I really thought I knew the answers to this before I started this video but I was really impressed the lint remover really good as well so there's one I haven't done on the left and there's the lint remover removed one on the right so it did a really good job um, obviously you have to felt it to a certain uh, degree already before you do it and then the ironing that really worked well so very impressed with that but that's for flat items so the top ones those two had both had the lint removed on them the yellow and the purple that was the cling wrap or, or plastic wrap really good ironing fantastic and then the old traditional needle and just keep felting that's what I thought was going to win so that's it that's the results I hope you enjoyed it subscribe like and comment lots more videos to come um, I'm doing a valet black nose sheep head next and happy felting everybody thanks